Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Pat's Two Wheels, where we talk about bikes, we take some trips, and I'll show you kind of what my experience has been and what, I'm, what I've seen. So today we've got with us a 2007 Buell Ulysses. I bought this bike used, always wanted these uh, since they came out and got a chance to get one a couple years ago. It's a uh, 2007, like I said, with about 10,000 miles on it when I bought it. It's got about 20 at this point, so I've had it for four or five years. I've changed the oil, one complete tune-up, but other than that, it's, it's been pretty much it. I mean, uh, the thing does love tires, and so I've done two tire changes on the back, one on the front, it was 10,000 miles, and uh, the thing is just a hoot to ride. Been super reliable for me. Uh, I don't abuse it. I uh, ride it pretty, pretty, pretty easy, and uh, I don't bounce it off the red line or anything like that, but it's been a great bike. So let's do a little walk around, show you what it looks like. Very plain, very simple, the way it's set up. The guy before me had put on the brush guards and the headlight guard. I put on the windshield. And, uh, but other than that, it's a pretty standard Buell. So I will hit the key here and let you hear what it sounds like. And of course it's got that classic Harley startup sound. So let's see how Mr. Buell's doing today. So the Buell is a strong running machine. I bought this thing used for about $4,000 a couple years ago. Always wanted one since they came out. And then of course they discontinued them and Buell closed up shop. And I always thought if I had the chance, I would get one. So if we kind of do the walk around, there she sits. And uh, you know, what a beautiful, beautiful looking machine. It's just got great travel suspension. It's really unique for those people who know Buells. Um, there is just something really special about them. And uh, not everybody likes them, but there's just something cool. They're, uh, they ride really well. It's got a really plush suspension. But yeah, that's a, uh, and boy, she roars. She's got an aftermarket exhaust. Let's go for a little ride. And I redid the fuel mapping on it. So it doesn't backfire as much as it was, run as lean as it was. She runs pretty strong now, it's amazing. It's amazing just how well this thing handles and uh, the 1200 Sportster motor that was modified Buell just, just has lots and lots of power, lots of get up and go. Like I said, the suspension is really, is really plush on this thing.
one thing very cool on this bike is just you get that visceral kind of Harley Davidson thumping power going on while at the same time you get this kind of weird plush ride that it doesn't feel like a Sportster or a Road Glide or another Harley Davidson it just feels so unique it's that combo thing that is just unlike anything else So it is funny with the Buell, it does, it shakes a lot, it quakes, it rattles, it does all those things, but uh, that short wheelbase, that short wheelbase, it just wants to get up and move, wheelie's pretty easy. Left to right transitions are really quick, very nimble. Of course, the downside of the Buell is there's absolutely no dealer support at all for it. You know, Harley-Davidson doesn't, doesn't support them at all or have anything to do with Buell. So, um, but I gotta say too, the forums out there on Facebook are really good, lots of good information. And it's interesting, I'm surprised and amazed how many Buells there are around the world. So, not just in the U.S., but in a lot of countries you will find these, these bikes out there. And there are some serious, die-hard lovers of the Buell platform, so... I love it because it's unique. You don't see them around. You aren't going to see them around. And uh, they're just completely different riding experience than and other things out there, so. Very much a good time. I will say though, once again, everything feels like on the Buell, it's just, unique. Uh, you even recall when I was taking and switching out the front tire and I was taking the wheel off and I was trying to unbolt it and the axle's got reverse threads, so right hand threads and, and you didn't even realize it. I'm just trying to turn it out. It's like a normal bolt. It's not moving. I'm like, well, something's got to be wrong. So get in there and look a little closer and yep, sure enough, it's a reverse thread on the, on the bolt. So Everything's just a little bit different. It's uh, it's cool, but you gotta you gotta back up and take a look at everything. And it's not always super obvious. Of course, there's all the obvious stuff, right? The fuel in the frame, the oil in the swing arm. There's all those obvious differences that everybody knows about, but. Uh, it is interesting when you get in and start working on it, what you see. So why do I like the Buell? Once again, because it's just unique, it's a little different. different to ride, the way it handles. There's also a lot of simplicity to the Buell. 
terms of no ride modes, no ABS, no funky electronics. But, uh, now it is quirky, I will give you that. But now it's fun if you uh, like things just a little bit different. Like things just a little bit different flavor. The Beetle's kind of cool. They're they're out there. You can find them out there now. Pretty good bikes for three or four thousand dollars. This one, like I said, was was four. Um, low mileage examples. Personally, I really like to make sure that they're running and they've been ridden and everything else and driven a little bit. So. You know all the basics are working before you buy something used. Like Once again, we're rolling. say to you the Buell is it likes the weather to be a, a little on the cool side I think just because it's all air cool and it is you know, the engine is surrounded by that frame so it can get kind of warm sometimes also cool though is the fact that there are fans in, installed and the fans automatically kick on and help keep the motor cool when you're sitting or when you're riding just when it senses it needs to turn them on it's a pretty nice function but otherwise it would get it would get really hot of course it's got the fins on the motor like a like a sportster but it doesn't have the open space around the head so you can't flow as much air it does a great job when it's moving i've got the scoops on either side which help channel some, some fresh air but if you're stopped you would get really hot and those fans could kick on and help keep help th keep things kind of cool well just beautiful getting out today man it's beautiful don't forget folks enjoy the ride take care see you in the next video